Hey guys, I wanted to show y'all real quick um, my new camera setup that I recently picked up. I, I used some of my birthday money. I had a birthday in March and I uh, got some stuff, uh, upgraded my camera equipment for uh, my YouTube channel and, and just uh, videoing in general. And um, I did a lot of research on uh, camcorders. I, I knew I wanted to get a camcorder. I knew there was some specific things I was looking for that I wanted and I had a, a limited uh, budget on, on what I could spend on it. And I did a lot of research and um, watched a lot of reviews and, and looked at a lot of different cameras. And, um, and I'm really happy with what I ended up with. This is the Canon Vixia HR, HFR 400. And um, this is the uh, lesser version of the uh, HFR 40. And the HFR 40 is basically the same camera as this, only without the Wi-Fi uh, feature. Uh, capability, which really wasn't a big deal to me. Uh, video and audio wise, it's and zoom wise, it's basically the exact same camera. Uh, but this is a really nice camera. There's tons of reviews on it, and everything I saw on it was positive. Um, and it was uh, voted like best camera for 2013 under 300 bucks. Uh, it retails for around 300 bucks, I think, something like that. But or the 40 does actually. Anyway. Um, so anyway, uh, this thing has some really awesome features, has a nice uh, touch screen, it has a, a stabilization thing that keeps your, your, your video real stable, it has a 53 power advanced v zoom, um, some of it's, uh, some of it's, uh, what do they say, it's, the last part of the zoom is like digital, the first part is optical, optical zoom, that's what I'm trying to think of. Um, it, another feature that I was really looking for is it has a audio in and audio out port so I can hook up uh, an external mic and also uh, headphones to be able to listen to my audio and uh, get better uh, audio quality. So anyway, uh, this camera so far, I'm really loving it. I didn't buy it brand new. Um, I shopped around. Uh, checked out the used market and ended up finding this on eBay and you can pick these up all day long on eBay for right around two hundred dollars right now uh, in the box and everything um, you know lightly used I actually got a really good deal on this one I got it for hundred and sixty five shipped uh, and it came with an 8 gig SD card the charger it also came with this uh, very nice low pro camera case which is really way bigger than I need for this camera but in the future it'll allow me to have room for things like a GoPro which I hope to pick up in the future as well so anyway um, like I said just really love this camera uh, for 165 bucks it is it is outstanding of course it's uh, high definition 1080p and it's got a lot of really great features I'm not really going to get into them but basically if you want to take my word for it and you're looking for a camera like this you know for under 200 bucks used um, I highly recommend this one like I said I did a ton of research and I really think this is really one of your best options for the money as of right now um, you know April 2014 um, in the future who knows but another thing I picked up is this um, STX monopod uh, which is basically a pretty cheap uh, Chinese made monopod that I picked up but um, one of the main features I was looking for with this was it has a articulating head right here so I can mount my camera up here and you know orient the camera pointing back at me and walk around holding this monopod and of course this extends out but uh, basically when I'm hiking or something I can hold the camera out at a distance shooting back at myself and um, this was really cheap it was like 40 bucks I picked it up locally at a camera shop uh, here in town and uh, they make ones that are much nicer than this uh, I believe they sell this on Amazon you probably can find it this particular one but I mean it's it's nothing it's nothing to write home about but it'll get the job done and I didn't want to spend 60 or 70 bucks on a on a real nice high-end one and it does the the basic things that I wanted it to do now one thing I was disappointed about with this when I bought it is it has this quick detach uh, portion right here uh, you unscrew this this screw right here this round part comes out and you can put it on your camera and you can quick detach it well when I first got it and put it on this thing was just wobbling like terribly uh, you could mount it on tighten this all the way down 
and your cam would just sit there and flop. I mean, it was completely non-usable um, for what its intended purpose was. So basically what I did is I took uh, this thing and JB welded it in, put some Loctite on this screw, and called it done. It ain't moving now. <laughs> and, um, you know, I sacrificed my, my quick detect feature, but who cares? Uh, I can just screw it directly to the head. No big deal. And I'd rather have a steady uh, mounting platform. So anyway, just wanted to show you all this stuff. Really excited about it. I'm loving this camera. Uh, it was a bit of a learning curve uh, in the beginning. I took this on a recent hike that we did to Pine Mountain. Uh, watch for upcoming videos on that. But when I, uh, when I started filming with it, I had it set on the highest resolution, highest performance or whatever. And I only got 10 minutes of video out of an 8 gig card, which really bummed me out. I didn't realize I had done that. I can actually get like 21 minutes at, 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 uh, at full 1080p on an 8 gig card. Or I could have got like an hour and 20 minutes if I'd have done the lowest setting, um, which wouldn't have been high resolution. But um, anyway, live and learn. Uh, I am planning on getting some, uh, some more SD cards, so I have much better... Um, much better uh, video time on it. The battery uh, looks like it'll do about an hour and a half is what the meter says. So um, anyway, uh, highly recommend this camera. Uh, and like I said, for the money, I think it's a great deal. And uh, y'all stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff in the pipe. I know I've kind of been slow getting videos out in the past week or two, but I uh, had a lot going on. Just went on an awesome hiking trip with my dad, my brother, my son. We hiked 17 miles in the rain. Well, not all of it in the rain, uh, but um, broke out a lot of really cool gear that we've recently picked up. I've got some awesome boots to show y'all and some video from that hike. So stay tuned. I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys.